playing no games. Countdown's over. It's time to get it on. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice in Your Ear with Boz Rosendahl, The Mountain, USA. Looking for a 2-0 start here in Vienna. And a quick foul on the Aussies. As they will look to try to find a way to slow down the 10th overall pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, Jimmer Ferdet and Team USA. Jimmer Mania. That time he... Touches nothing but iron. Here's McCarron, a new add to this Australian national team. Steal. Down low to Daniel Johnson. Turn around. That touch as soft as the mother's. Yeah, and that's where Australia's got to go and get their bread and butter, right? They are, on average, the tallest team in the competition, as well as the oldest. Look at me. I'm looking into those stats a lot. You know, it means veteranship. It means that they got the size to compete with this U.S. squad. Yeah, I've said it before that, like, your uncle's at the barbecue that got the leather sandals on out there flipping burgers and chugging down a couple of brews. <laughs> and when they get done with that, they'll come and kick your butt on the 3x3 court. They've done it at the Asia Cup. Four gold medals for the men's team at the Asia Cup. But this is a different beast here at the World Cup. Oh, I like your cut, G. Andrew Steele takes the package, delivers. He trails for debt. Maddox. Waiting for the Jimmer to come around. The Madman, he'll dip to the bucket and a foul on the outside. So Jimmer scored 26 points over five games at the America. Oh, two-piece and the biscuit. They like that combo. Get that man a drink to go with it. Oh, my. That's chicken and waffles right there. Two-point jumper. Oh, yeah, look with at the that. Foul. Hit him on the elbow. It will not matter. Again, Jimmer Fredette, who played five seasons in the NBA with four different teams, had stints with the New York Knicks, Sacramento Kings, Chicago Bulls, New Orleans Pelicans, was drafted by the Bucks after earning player of the year with BYU. See you later. Waxy gets to the rack. And we got a 3-3 start to this contest. Here's Waxy Walker. Oh, Lucas, he put a man down. That's Barry, I'm not sure how he got there. Was it because of the spin move? I don't know. I couldn't see. Let's check it out. Let's take another look. Oh, he just slipped. Yeah, he just blew a tire. Found that banana peel halfway on the court. Going to plug that thing and get back to it. Jimmer. Oh, he is shooting like Cupid. You got to love that. No, oh, that man's like a video game, dude. His shot meter is always on green. Like he playing 2K Mile Park out there. <laughs> take another look at the green release. He's shooting, and you can keep the change, you filthy animal. Automatic. Oh, Daniel Johnson. The big man's got a big gun, too. Now it's Travis straight on two-piece. It comes up abbreviated. Stilo over to Waxy. Down low to DJ. He's in the mix. 7-5. Yeah, way to get to that mismatch. He saw he had a smaller defender on him. Ducked down low. They got him the ball. Easy finish. Here's the Jimmer falling away. And that one just rattles off the iron. Dylan Travis all by himself. Now, I know Dylan Travis can get a dunk off. I, I, and it's smart not to do it, but I don't know. He might want some momentum, though. But look at this. Well, Clear runway, super hard layup. <laughs> Super hard lit. You know what, boss? I don't think I've ever seen Dylan Travis dunk. Look at the dude. He looks pretty athletic. That's He's pretty athletic, but I don't know if he can yam. I don't know if he can yam. Meantime, Johnson's getting faded. He takes him to the barber shop. That touch is feather soft. See him hit a two-point shot now. We've also seen him hit that one-foot fadeaway. I like the big guy for Australia. Right. Credit. Right at the Aussies right now. These dudes are matching the firepower of the Americans. Matter of fact, 
more so. They beat it eight to six here. Maddox swings through. Maddox to the rack. What you gonna do with that? Kareem always rises, as they say. And a whistle on the guys in green that will give it back over to USA. Maddox taking the contact. And he's undeterred as he gets to the rim. He's the madman. Madman with the speed move. Way, whoa, whoa. Fuzzy almost bodied him. Ooh, we had a little chat before this game. He said, you, what, you forgot I could get up like that? Madman ain't been, been this bouncy in at least a year. Nah, he wanted to remind you. That's what he wanted to do. He almost caught a body. Uh, he, done, he done went to the lab. He's a 2.0 version this year. Nice pass in here. Waxy sneaks in and gets the score. Australia maintaining a two-point advantage. That ball went all over the court. All over Australia, to be honest with you. Perth to Sydney to Darwin. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. You got to know your geography for that one. Uh, yeah, I do. Waxy hits the iron as Jimmer hits the deck. Looks like that's going to be a push in the back on Andrew Steele. Curious to see who that fouls on, though, because Australia's already kind of close to the bonus. I see I, I lost count of their fouls. They're at five now. This might be their sixth. Six fouls this this quick? Well, they, they're at five already. Okay. And okay. USA only just got one, right? So that's going to be the difference in the game. Again, Australia, a, a slim lead of two points here. They are playing more physical than the United States, or at least the referees are, you know, fouling them a little bit, right, calling some fouls on them. Fifth foul. Ball USA, though, so that, that might have been the fifth foul. Let's move. Kareem Maddox rises like the day just started. He brings some thunder and wakes up this USA team. Dylan Travis putting it right in the scene. And the madman is playing angry. He woke up in beast mode for USA. As it's 9-8. Waxy. Oh, comes clean after the spin move. Wax on, wax off. Spins pass for debt. Great touch. And a score off the window. Nice move there. And I think the Australians are making a point out of attacking for Fredette, who is an awesome offensive player, but uh, is lacking a little physicality down there defensively. And that's one of the tactics you need to use against a, a flamethrower like that, though, because Jimmer can go off, as he's shown in the first game. you got to get him tired by defense. But by him playing defense, I mean... Nobody home to stop CB. Oh, and a tough score. Waxy over the Madman. Is that a sky hook? Dare I say? Not quite. It was close. And an offensive foul called on Maddox. That might be a foul on the Australians. It's their sixth. Oh, sorry. I, I meant. Yeah, I no worries. No. I made a mistake. I didn't mean the other team. I just made the mistake. Dylan Travis. Ooh, whoa. A lot of contact there. Seven foul, two Australians are getting too loose with that physical contact right now. In the bonus before the midway mark of the game, even though they're up by three points, Dylan Travis with a chance to bring the U.S. back to a one-point deficit here. So the real deal. Up to the line, 75% free throw shooter in 3x3 at least. And the cloth on the first. And the second one will count. I think the lane violation was on Australia. So possession over to the Aussies now. As they will quickly get it to Andrew Steele. It's a misfire for him as Travis will corral the rebound. He's looking for the madman on the cut. And he goes up. Yeah, didn't get a dunk that time, but a quick and easy layup on that backdoor cut. 
as Australia gets a quick bucket too. You wanted an offensive game, there we go. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Oh, Jimmer had it swiped away, and out of, but out of bounds. Good defensive play there. Mitchell McCarron, again, making his World Cup debut, as is Fredette. McCarron, the youngest member on this Aussie team, at uh, 30 years young. Good look at that Wilson. Shout out to our ball and our apparel sponsor, by the way. Mm. That's a nice look at basketball right there. Especially made for outdoor play. It's got different grooves uh, and the dimensions of the ball uh, are the same weight as what you would typically get with the men's ball, but. Yes, but they have the dimensions of a women's ball. ball. Yeah, but the weight is what matters. Yes. And the grip. Who is chump but miss Walker? This is what, again, this is what Australia brings. There's a reason why they lead this game by one here late because, I mean, to be honest, it's never going to be so pretty with, with them. Right? We're talking about a team of players that everybody's over 30, mm -hmm. but you know it's about that grown man strength, and they're going to fight you tooth and nail until the, until the very end. Yeah, it's that and veteran, veteran savviness, right? I mean, think about it. Walker, he's older than me, and I've been on the sideline for like two years now. So that guy, but he, he looks like he works out a lot, right? I couldn't keep up with him in the weight room. I know that. Like father, like son. Canyon Berry gets it done at the free throw line. He's nearly a 90% free throw shooter. No, I almost announced who jinxed him. That's a real thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should talk about dude's free throw percentage while they're at the line. Maybe we should just not talk yeah. in general. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Look at Daniel Johnson. He's meandering his way through the paint, but he lost his step. This dude strides like a giraffe. He stands 212. Yes. That's me. That's how tall you are? I'm 212 and a half, I guess. So his footer, so he is actually a legit footer, I'd, I'd say. The stroke ain't stroking right now for the Jimmer. Maddox hustling for the rebound. That loose Wilson, who's going to track it down? Better yet, whose possession is it going to be? That so four bodies on the floor. I do believe it looks like that touch. Oh, did it touch last? I don't know. It, it, I don't know. it might have been Walker's hand. I'm not sure. This is a tough. Uh, this is a tough call here. Look at that. In the United States. They put pressure on Australia early, and Australia stopped them with some fouls. They are in the bonus now, though. So the U.S. has taken the lead in this game. They were down a bit. Remember? It was yeah. like a four-point deficit earlier. Maybe five. I don't know if it was that much. Five. Five? No way. Maybe four. I don't know. I think they had a two-point lead. <laughs> I might be mistaken. <laughs> that might also be you being a homer, though. No, uh, no. You wished USA was down by uh, five. I did. I'm not wishing anything. I like good 3x3 basketball. They no. brought the squad this year, so I'm happy with them. I would have felt it if they were down five. The my storytelling in this game would be totally different. All right. No, this has been a, this has been this game's been tighter than the 80s jeans. Mm. You remember the 80s? Well, I've been, I only lived in the 80s for four years, so not really. Picture Eddie Murphy, leather. Oh. Uh, okay, don't picture that. Never mind. I remember a certain comedian making a. A little piece on that, though. Oh, yeah? Don't, I, don't I? I don't know. Remember, I'll get back to you on this one. Okay. I might just be going out of pocket and this. <laughs> just take a time out for a while. That's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> McCarron hits him with the deep two. Right wing. Travis will respond quickly. And we're all even. Knotted at 15 apiece. 
Great defensive play. And a real deal. He's charged up. Yeah, look at the hustle by Travis, man. I forgot to tell you. One of the most impressive things I have seen in 3 x is last year, Omaha 3-ball came to Amsterdam and played our pro tour, right? But big man Han was out. He yeah. busted his ankle before, like the day before, too, so he couldn't play. These guys played with three all game. And they won. Very short team, too. Yeah. yeah it's, it was Barsley, him, and Hukowecki. And they won the tournament with yes. three people. Now, I know how hard it is to play with three guys. Yeah. And these guys showed so much heart out there, man. I was so impressed with them. They can get it done. Batman trying to find Barry. And Barry is, is held up by Steel. Maybe Steel is the only thing that can stop Canyon Barry right now. Maybe Iron. That or Kryptonite. <laughs> or Kryptonite. That Canyon Barry. When I was young, they would call this a granny shot, but grannies can't shoot it like this. Yeah, somebody should have taught Shaq this back in the days. <laughs> didn't they, they try they to? They should have. They, didn't they try to? I think they tried to teach him this one. Well, he, he wasn't a student of the game when it came to the free throws, but he, he buries good like grandma's cookies with the granny shot. So you, you mentioned those fouls on Australia that they racked up early. Yep. I think this is where it comes back to bite them. They trail by two, and, and the next defensive foul, the Americans get two free throws and possession. Yeah, meanwhile, the United States have been putting a lot of pressure out on the ball, but they have been defending very cleanly. Only three fouls on them, so. Oh. They care and try to get saucy with it. Crikey. That's what he's saying right now. Maybe a combination of some other Australian words that I don't know. Yeah. I probably couldn't say them on this on this live broadcast anyway. We'll just stick with Crikey. The Jimmer. He leaves the premises. 18-15. Yeah, as we're saying, look at Maddox. As we're saying, look at Jimmer. He turned the afterburners on and got to the got to the hoop in a hurry. You know, I need to shout out. Uh, Robbie Hummel, by the way, he was he led the USA. Him and Damon Huffman, who are the other half of that quartet that won gold for the American men for the first time. Oh, the Jimmer! He's got a global plan. He's in his range. 20 to 16. Walker responds with "Taste the Rainbow." Sweet stroke! What a game we had between the Americans and Australians. Barry goes to the spin move, to the left, to the left. Uh, it's over. Yes, sir. 21 to 18. What a hell of a game. I told you this one.